This is the music of the Mediterranean, as warm as the summer skies of Turkey, where it originates. We heard it on a journey through Mediterranean countries which provide us with many exciting and attractive things we eat every day. Our journey will take us through Spain, France, Sicily and Israel on the way to our final destination, Turkey. Our Mediterranean journey ends now at Turkey, in Istanbul, Constantinople that was, the fabled old capital of the Byzantine Empire. Istanbul is the only city in the world that stands astride two continents, Europe to the west, Asia to the east. It is the starting point of another surf. Forward, mingled with the four-legged travelers, we get our chance to see Turkish people face to face. A fierce, proud race in whom family ties and love of children is strong. Looking out over the Black Sea, we find that it is really blue. The sun sparkles on the waves as our ship turns in for the shore. We are at Gerasen at last. Here is another aspect of the Turkish way of life. Under the shadow of the minarets behind the harbour, where young and old work and play and live out their lives. Gerasen is the headquarters of an old and prosperous industry. The centre of an export trade, fourth in importance in the Turkish economy. Can you guess? What would you expect to find growing here that flourishes in the lanes of Britain? The answer is hazelnuts, Turkish fulvets, in groves that blanket the coastline in endless miles of green. The month here is August, the start of the harvest season. The kernels of hazelnuts, besides being tasted to chew, are rich in food value with nearly 70% natural oil. And the nuts of Gerasen are among the very finest. The women folk of Gerasen have only recently ceased to veil their faces from public gaze, a practice still continued in many country districts. Their husbands may dress according to Western fashions, but many wives have very plain wardrobes. Walking through the town, we see a famous traditional dish being sold, shish kebab, a sizzling mixture of meats roasted on a revolving spit. Whenever they may, the sun-loving Turkish people take their meals in the open air. The tables are set today for a civic feast. Elsewhere, too, the feeling of fiesta is abroad. Towards the end of the day, villagers gather on the cliff to mark the happy season with a song and dance. To meet an ever-increasing world demand, the filbert growers are learning to modernize their methods of cultivation. Terracing the hilly slopes is a means of conserving space, and scientific research has given the farmers chemical weapons with which to fight disease and pests. But for gathering the nuts, there is no better or quicker means than the skill of the human hand. As soon as they are picked, the nuts are spread out in the sun so that the husks, the stalky ends of the nuts, can wither and drop off leaving just the shell behind. The deep bed of nuts is constantly raked and winnowed by hand, a job which continues all the time the nuts are picked. Once the nuts are husked, they are collected together and given another drying in the sun. This is because rain and the natural moistness of the Black Sea climate may induce a mould which can spoil the entire crop. The big problem in Gerasen 
is to find enough space to spread the nuts. Somewhere there's got to be room for 35,000 tons of them. So we see them everywhere, by the shore, on rooftops, even in the streets themselves. Here is the first machine ever tried out in Turkey to do the job mechanically, a method which may in time spread throughout the land. The sweet filberts of Turkey find their way to 23 different countries across the globe, renewing as each new season starts a trade which was first begun more than six centuries ago. And so our journey home begins, leaving the stately minarets fading slowly into the distance our destination now is England.